Next, we have to discuss about complements of numbers. Here, we first discuss about tens complement. The tens complement can be obtained by subtracting the least significant digit from 10 and all other digits from 9. For example, find the tens complement of number 55274. So here we have to subtract. So 99910 minus 55704. That gives 4472 and 6. Here first subtract 4 from 10 we obtain as 6. So the other digits of the given example that is 7, 2, 5 and 5 will be subtracted from 9 and we obtain 2, 7, 4 and 4 respectively. So hence the tenth complement of number 2, 5, 2, 7, 4 is 4, 4, 7, 2, 6. Next we have to discuss about ninth complement. The ninth complement of a number can be obtained by subtracting every digit of the given number from 9. For example, find the ninth complement of 55274. Five, Here, our answer is 44725. Four, Here, what is done is that subtract every digit of the given number from 9 and the ninth complement of 55274 five, is 44725. Four, it is observed that this complement is 1 less than 44726, which was the 10th complement of the same number. So the 9th complement of any number is always 1 less than the 10th complement. The 10th complement can also be obtained by adding 1 to the 9th complement of the given number. Next, we have to discuss about 1's complement. To find 1's complement of a number, replace all zeros with 1's and all 1's with zeros. The 1's complement of a number is always 1 less than the 2's complement of a number. For example, find the 1's complement of number 1011010. So we have to find answer by for the given example by replacing all 1's with zeros and all zeros with 1's. So the ones complement of number 1011010 is 0100101. It is also observed that ones complement of the given number is 1 less than 0100110, which was 2's complement of the same number in the previous examples. Next, we have to discuss about subtraction of digital systems. Subtraction with 10's complement and 2's complement is the first section. So there is an example. Find the subtraction of number 51346 minus of 06934. Of this is a decimal number. So using the 10's complement method. So here minus end is equal to 51346 and the subtraction is equal to 06938. So our answer is 144408. Here an end carry occurs, hence discarding. The result of 51346 minus 06938 of decimal number is 44408 of decimal number. Next we have to discuss about subtraction with 9's complement and 1's complement. There is an example. Find the subtraction of number 51346 minus 06938. This is a decimal number using the 9's complement method. So here minus is equal to 51346 and subtract is equal to 06938. So our answer is 414407. Here an end around carry occurs. Hence, add 1 to the first of the result. So, end around carry is equal to 44407 plus 1. That gives 44408. Hence, the result of subtraction. So, the subtraction of 51346 minus 06938 of decimal number is 44408 of decimal number. Next, we have to discuss about HCF. That is highest common factor. Highest common factor of two or more number is the greatest number which divides each of them exactly. Now we will learn about the method of finding highest common factor. Here first step is that 
find all the factors of each given number. Our second step is that find the common factors of the given number. Our third step is that the greatest of all the factors obtained in step 2. That is, it is the required highest common factor. So, there is an example. Find the highest common factor of 14 and 18. So, factors of 14 that is equal to 1, 2, 7 and 14. Okay. Uh, next, factors of 18 that is equal to 1, 2, 3, 6, 9 and 18. Therefore, common factor of 14 and 18 that is equal to 1 and 2. Next, we have to find highest common factor of 14 and 18. So, that is equal to 2. Our next example is that find the highest common factor of 33 and 55. So, while we move on to our answer, first we discuss factors of 33. That is 1, 3, 11 and 33. Next, factors of 55 that is equal to 1, 5, 11 and 55. Therefore, common factors of 33 and 55 is 1 and 11. That we find. Okay. Next, we have to find highest common factor of 33 and 55. That is the answer 11. Next, we have to discuss about LCM. What do you mean by LCM? It is least common multiple. The smallest most G number that is say multiple of 2 or more numbers. Next, we have to find least common multiple of 3 and 5. Here, list the multiples of each number is the first step. And the multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, etc. Et the multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, etc. So here, find the first common that is same value. So, the first... Sorry, the least common multiple of 3 and 5 is 15. That is, 15 is a common multiple of 3 and 5 and is the smallest or least common multiple. There is an example. Find the LCM of these sets of numbers. There are 3 numbers 3, 9, and 21. So, here we while we move on to our answer, first step is that list the prime factors of each number. We have 3 numbers 3, 9, and 21. Here, 3 has only one prime factor as 3, 9 as 3 by 3 and 21 as 3 by 7. Here multiply each factor the greatest number of times it occurs in any of the numbers. 9 has 2 3's and 21 has 1 7. So we multiply 3 2 times and 7 once. This gives us 63. The smallest number that can be divided evenly by 3, 9 and 21. We check our work by verifying that 63 can be divided evenly by 3, 9 and 21. This is the compound interest. Note that the formula A is equal to compound interest plus P will give us total amount. To get the compound interest only, we need to subtract the principal from the amount. 